Hello and welcome to Inside the Oscars. I'm Rachel Smith and today we're going to take you for a stroll down the most fashionable walkway in Hollywood, the Oscars red carpet. We're going to give you a sneak peek at how all the magic happens and then give you a sense of what it's actually like to walk the red carpet on Oscar Sunday. Strap on your high heels and join us as we go Inside the Oscars red carpet. The Oscars red carpet is the most active, most energetic, most uh, celebrated red carpet in the world. The red carpet is in the heart of Hollywood. We are between uh, Highland and Orange on Hollywood Boulevard. It's a very intricate 500 feet long and 33 feet wide. It is the biggest red carpet in the world, and it takes over 800 man hours to install all elements, so it is a very large undertaking. The red carpets consisted of multiple stops. A, you have the limo drop. Guests get out of their cars at Hollywood Boulevard. They can't believe they're actually arriving. They're actually at the Oscars. That initial moment is kind of a shock to the system. Then we have a secure area we go through, and then you're on the red carpet, and it's amazing and electric. It is six cents overload. You have the entire press line and the entire bleacher seats, and everyone's yelling at your name. <laughs> It's capacity when it comes to a point where you can't move, there's a lot of people on the carpet. It's very loud, you can't hear yourself think. And it can be a bit intimidating for people. Well, there's lots of people that get very nervous and they're about to leave the tent. It's not just the new ones, it's the people that have done it every year. On one side of the carpet is more than 2,000 media professionals, and the other side is about 700 hardcore Oscar fans that come from all over this country and some travel internationally, so they're part of our show that day. The red carpet, I always say, is a bit of controlled chaos. We have a general side where most of our guests go into the theater and experience the show. And then we have a press line side, which is where the nominees and the presenters and the performers go. If they're a nominee, they're going down the press line. If you hit most of the outlets, it's going to take you over two hours to get down that carpet. Most of the time, it's just go down the line as is. But then since we're a live show, there are certain times where they have pre-booked talent. And there are three stages along the way that talent is pulled to or pre-arranged to do interviews at. It is weeks and weeks of scheduling nominees and scheduling presenters and performers and where they need to be at certain times on each stage. The carpet is so vast, it can't be done with just one host. There are multiple hosts. We want to build the tension, build the excitement, build the glamour. It's trying to give it some sort of thematic through line. And last year, we decided to celebrate costume design. We went to the archives of the Academy and we found all these incredible sketches of costumes throughout history. The red carpet's the first thing people see and the red carpet and pre-show is as big as the show inside. To be on the red carpet with some of, you know, the biggest filmmakers in the world, it's pretty amazing. A lot of times there's reunions happening in the midst of chaos. So it's nice to see those moments. Walking down the Oscar red carpet is unlike anything that anybody's ever experienced. It's kind of like ascending to Mount Olympus. It's like Valhalla. You are with the movie gods. It is some dreamlike experience because you're at the height of glamour, you're at the height of the business, because to get to the Oscars is the aspirational dream of anybody that's associated with film. So that carpet takes on so much more when you're actually walking it. Now that you're in a red carpet mood, make sure you go to Oscar.com to check out our amazing collection of red carpet photo galleries. We'll see you soon.